Welcome back to the Caregiver Minute, where every weekday family and professional caregivers gather to refine their skills, gain inspiration, and prepare to serve. At some point in history, cattle ranchers started putting brands on their animals so that they could distinguish theirs from a neighboring rancher. Now, brands have come to represent not only ownership, but also something about identity. If you drive around the place where you live, you'll see all sorts of businesses with a brand on their sign or on their vehicle or on the door of their business. You see brands all over the internet. Brands are meant to convey something about the identity of a company. So today, as I was driving into work, I was looking at some of the brands that I was seeing, and I started to wonder, well, if I was to have a personal brand, what would that be? If I was to have one word that I want to use to describe me, what word would that be? So I wanted to ask you, what is your personal brand? How do you want people to know you? When people see your face, what instantly do you want them to feel? What should come out in every interaction? If your life was a business, how would you want that business to interact with the public? How would you want them to handle customer service complaints? How would you want them to handle the sales process? How would you want to convey new information to the public if your life was a business? I think considering what our personal brand is, is really good food for thought. One of the differences between those who achieve great things in life and those who just sort of go through life is that the high achievers are very intentional about things. They think about how they want to show up. They think about the impact that they're making. They think about how to be their best selves. And considering what our personal brand is, is just one way that you and I can step forward and be a little bit more intentional in our efforts. Some of you watching the Caregiver Minute are working in professional settings. You might be in an assisted living facility or a home health company or skilled nursing or some other healthcare professional setting. Some of you are caring for people in the home. Regardless of the setting, we all have a personal brand, and it has to do with everything about us and how we interact with others at all times. So today, I invite you to consider, what is your brand? If the person you're serving today had to find one word to describe the way that you're treating them, what would that word be? And how would you feel about that? Would you want to change the word and behave in such a way that they might be inclined to choose a different word? Or would you feel really proud of the word that they choose? I hope as you consider these ideas that you'll have insights that will help you be as intentional as possible in how you want to show up in your day and the kind of life that you want to build from here on out. Because it's up to you and it's up to me how we choose to show up from day to day. Well, thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you again soon for another episode of the Caregiver Minute.